about a year ago, coming on for two years ago, I put a bunch of screw fix screws into some water and left them there. Let's see what happened to them. Welcome back. A little while ago on my Andy Mac Drums channel, I started a little very unscientific experiment to see how certain types of screw that I use on a regular basis, how quickly they rusted. I figured it would be useful to share the results with you guys. So as I say, that video was on my Andy Mac Drums channel and I've now moved all of the making and fixing videos onto this Gosforth Handyman channel. So there's a link in the description below to part one of this video where you can see what I did and uh, how this experiment all started out. And I decided to just keep it running until I saw the first spot of rust on a screw. And you can see how quickly that happened and how long it took with having a bunch of screws literally left underwater how long it took for them to start rusting. So don't forget to subscribe, and uh, if it's of interest, my Andy Matt Drums channel isn't just about drums. Um, I also post a few videos about self-employment, a couple of things about tax and doing, keeping your accounts and records and stuff like that, because I've been self-employed for most of my working life, and it's something I'm very used to. So I forget I would share some of the things I've learned with you over the years. But those videos are fairly few and far between, so they're gonna just stay on the Andy Matt Drums channel. But if, if that sort of thing's of interest, go to my Andy Matt Drums channel and subscribe to that. Um, for the making and fixing videos, please subscribe to this channel, and there's all sorts of things I'm gonna be posting on here. So hopefully you'll find it interesting. I'm not gonna be releasing videos that often, you know, you're looking maybe um, once or twice a month, so you're not gonna get bombarded with videos. But I will get stuff out there as often as I can. Leave a comment in the description below and let us know what you think and hopefully you will find this useful. So here we are at day 86. You can see the screws aren't as pretty as they started out but there's no actual rust. The screws in the fence still look brand new after 271 days. Day 337, looking pretty grimy but still no rust. Day 454 and the screws in the fence still look brand new. And by way of comparison, these non-screw fix screws were used around the same time. They've been there for about a year and you can see how rusty they are. They just snapped when I took them out. The fence screws so still look new. Finally, da, 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 after 474 days of being continuously submersed in water, the salty screws are starting to show some signs of rust. So here we are in the workshop now, just to have a better look at the uh, screws. Interestingly, you can see the normal batch, so the batch that has no salt in, is looking a little bit more green than uh, the salty batch, and I think the salt has probably inhibited um, growth of organic material in there. You can see something's actually growing in the, uh, the non-salty batch, um, but I think that's why there's algae formed on the uh, the other screws in the in the normal batch because the salt um, has probably prevented that in the in the other pot. So a lot of the green on the screws in there, it's just algae, and that'll that'll wash off. So um, it's time to give the screws a bit of a clean to see what they actually look like. So I'm just getting all the screws out, and I'll give them a bit of a clean up. 
Before I do that though, um, I need to be careful not to get the screws mixed up with each other. So what I'm going to do is take all of the normal screws and just grind a little notch into each one so that I know which is which. So this is me just grinding a little notch into each of the normal screws. None of the screws have lost any perceivable structural integrity. Um, the, the heads still work absolutely fine. Um, they don't seem to have lost any strength. So there they are all cleaned up. I'm also just giving them a quick dry off because I've washed them and everything and I'm just going to make a quick dry off with a hairdryer um, just so you can see them properly so you can see the rust on the salty screws there um, and you can see the um, the finish on the screws has obviously taken a bit of a battering but the screw integrity is fine these have been underwater for 400 and however many days they've been underwater for a long time and the salty batch, I mean, that's amazing. They've been in salt water, submerged in salt water. These aren't marine screws or anything. These are just bog standard wood screws, you know. And they've been submerged in water for the best part of a year and a half. And uh, the, the heads are still perfectly fine. You saw screwing them into that block of wood there. There was no coming out. Um, there was no damage to the heads or anything like that. They still work perfectly well as screws. As I say, they don't look as pretty, but they're not bad considering how long they've been underwater. Some more arty shots of screws. That's it. Hope you've enjoyed that. Please subscribe.